least. So while we are in the middle of another political conflict, there is always a conspiracy theory coming right. up or trending every time we have conflicts. And this time, you guess it is not that much different from every time they believe that there is some kind of Western power behind this protest. And one organization, which is the Atai uh, non-governmental organization or NGO, ILAW, is one of the organizations that named as gets funded by the Western agencies. So ILAW is the one that got mentioned by Harutai Muang Bunsi. It's being accused of receiving funds from the West. It took it to the Facebook declaring where the funding came from since 2009 to 2014. ILAW's website shows that from 2009 to 2014, it receiving funds from the Open Society Foundation founded by Josh Soros. Josh Soros allegedly attacked Thailand's currency, which contributed to the financial crisis in Thailand and then spread across East Asia in 1997. Another uh, organization that give them funding is Heinrich Bohr Foundation or HBF, a German public policy think tank and also Google. And since 2015, ILAW has received funding from both OSF, which is the Open Society Foundation, and Heinrich Bohr Foundation. Additional sources of funding to ILAW include the National Endowment for Democracy, or NED, which is a U.S. agency. I believe that NED has been in the news often enough in the past several years. The Fund for Global Human Rights, or FGHR, which is a humanitarian finance company based in Washington. The American Jewish World Service, or AJWS, which is a U.S. nonprofit international development and human rights organization, and a single donation from Google and other independent donors. ILA said that its policy regarding financial support is to consider whether the source of funding goals are aligned with those of ILA, regardless of the country of origin. So each year, ILAW designs and initiates projects which have nothing to do, they said, have nothing to do with the sources of funding received. They said the funders are not allowed to get involved in the process of project design. And all information about funders and their websites have been on ILAW's website since its launch. ILAW also claimed that it is fundamentally transparent and all can be scrutinized, just like other nonprofit organizations around the world. And 